Hello and welcome, I'm Christopher Kapik, and I'm starting a technology YouTube channel because I'm a computer science student and I think it's kind of cool. So today I'll be comparing uh, two Mac OS apps. Uh, they're window managers, because um, there's not really a great window managing functionality built into Mac. So one is called Magnet and one is called Amethyst. And there's a very clear use case for each of these. So I will just try to demonstrate what the, what the use cases are and you can decide for yourself which one you want to use. So here's my Mac. First I'll show you Magnet. So Magnet is very similar to what you might use with Windows. So I just launched it. You can see it's running because it's up here in the corner. Um, so if I open up a terminal window here, um, nothing happens. But what I can do is I can move this around and I can like in a, here, I don't know what, what just happened. There we go. Like in Windows, you can snap things to the top or to the sides or to the corners. So what I can do here is just snap this window to the side, to the top, to the bottom, the uh, bottom third, to the left half. You can do the corners too, like that. And that's basically what I would say this app is best for. Um, you can also use control option and then use the arrow keys. And you can also change the keybinds for the, this is all in the preferences. But basically this is just, you choose where you want to snap it and you snap it and it can go to the corner, it can be full screen. That's basically the functionality of Magnet. So now we'll quit Magnet. And now I'll launch Amethyst. So Amethyst is, um, we'll check automatically for updates. So Amethyst is more akin to a dust or a window manager you might see on Linux. Um, I'm not super familiar with them, but I, from what I can tell based on watching other YouTube videos about it, I think this is kind of like some sort of mix between, I don't know. It looks a lot like D DWM from Luke Smith's video about uh, Suckless's window manager, but I'm not super familiar with window managers on Linux. So I don't want to say that for a hundred percent certainty, but basically when I launch it, it takes up the full screen. Now, one cool feature is you can see at the sides here, you can actually set it to leave a little gap. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it in preferences, but I think it looks really cool. So um, I'll run NeoFetch just so you can see which uh, monitor this is, and I can launch a new instance of the terminal, and it automatically splits it up. So each terminal is taking a path. And then what happens is this left half becomes the master stack, and then the right half becomes a slave stack. So if I open, let's see, um, I'll run HTOP here. And if I open a new terminal window, it opens up below and they'll just keep opening up below. So it sort of all stacks up on that side. And then when you start to close them, they start to fill up like that. And you can also, let's see if I can remember the keyboard commands for this. Um, you can change between different layouts. So option shift A, I believe is, so that's tall, that's what we're in right now. And then option shift D is the other one that I use the most. That is full screen. So basically if you only wanna focus on one, you can do option shift D. If, if you wanna go back to seeing all of your apps, you can go back to option shift A. Um, you can also, let's see, I think it uses Vim key binding, so you can do, so H and L will uh, change the size of each window. And then, let's see, um, using J and K will switch the focus, so like up or down the stack. So K is down the stack and J is up the stack, just like in Vim, J is up and K is down. And you can also, um, swap them. So if I use option control shift J, then it swaps the windows around. So I can move this around like that going up or down. Um, so basically what I would say is, well, first let me explain There's one problem with using amethyst and that's that not all apps play nicely. Specifically, I think of spark, which is what I use for email. I'm not going to open it up right now. Well, actually I think I can't because I haven't logged in yet. So Spark is, we'll see if it'll launch. Uh, it's not gonna work super well right now. Um, I'll show Spark another time. Uh, well, I don't really wanna show my email as the thing, but basically there are some apps that don't fit into the spaces and it, it doesn't exactly play well with Amethyst. So what I'd like to do is, well, first of all, Chrome is one of those apps. Um, you can stack two like instances of Chrome on top of each other. But if you go for a third, then it starts to get a little wonky. And with the Spark email app, I think what I'm going to do is just leave it open on a desktop. So I can like, or a different workspace. So I can just swipe over, use email, and then swipe back and see all my other work. Um, because it really is convenient just being able to like close windows and 
like shift back and forth with your focus and just have everything automatically managed for you. Now, the one thing I will say is that learning Amethyst is a little bit of a steeper learning curve. Magnet is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's very simple. You can just, you don't have to learn the keyboard shortcuts if you don't want to. You can, um, let's see, I'll quit Amethyst. You can literally just use Magnet to do the snapping and even that functionality is very helpful. I don't know why it's not going right now. Of course it doesn't go on, I'm shooting the video, but generally speaking, I've had no problems with Magnet up until right now. So yeah, basically I would say if you want to like seriously max out your productivity, then you probably want to learn Amethyst. But Amethyst does have a steeper learning curve. If you just want a little bit snappy or a little bit quicker, then I'd recommend using Magnet for that. The other thing to consider is Magnet's paid. You buy it on the App Store. I think it's like $3 maybe, and Amethyst is free. So it's kind of just a question of, are you willing to pay the $3 or not? And also, are you willing to put in the time to learn Amethyst? So it doesn't take that long to learn. I'd say maybe spending a day with it, a couple hours, and you'll have it down pretty well. Um, but it's not instantaneous the way that Magnet is. Because like Magnet, you can literally just start using it. And it's the snapping feature is intuitive, and it makes sense. So anyways, I just wanted to make this little video. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to leave the questions in the comments below, and I'll try to keep up with them and follow along and help out in any way that I can. So both of these can be installed with either, I think, Brew Cask for uh, Amethyst, or um, you can use the MAS tool. I don't know if it's Moz or Maz or whatever, but you can install Moz with Brew and then you can install Magnet with Moz, or you can just use the Apple App Store. So anyways, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.